when you find out you have cancer, um, you panic, you know. Went through all the stages, stage two, stage three, and finally when you get the, get the news that you're stage four, it's really spooky. And I think um, the combination of uh, his experience and the fact that I, I know he really knew what he was doing, uh, but the fact that he was calm uh, really helped me through it because uh, you know he was like an anchor. What I remember was he said, he's in good hands. I will take care of him no matter what. I will be with you folks and with Ed, and I will help pull him through as much as possible. I have four children, 10 grandchildren, and eight great-grandchildren. And I would not have been here to enjoy my family if it wasn't for Dr. Ho. Reg has a long history with American Cancer Society, and he started as a volunteer, and he spent many, many countless hours on board, and eventually, you know, rose to the ranks only because of who he is and you know what he brings to the table. Um, he eventually became, you know, national president of the American Cancer Society. That's quite an honor. And those years were tough. But, you know, he traveled a lot. He was away from home, and it was hard on the family. Um, but he represented every single time. Dr. Ho is a physician who has um, an enormous heart. He has a lot of integrity. He's very knowledgeable. He's empathetic. He is known throughout the community for his kindness, his generosity, his contributions to taking care of cancer patients in Hawaii, not just at Straub, but all over the state. Well, I think he is, does what he does because he's a very caring man. He's very diligent in what he does. He's a very empathetic person and uh, he feels, I think, for what the patient goes through and, uh, and he loves what he's doing, that he can help and, and do something for society and, and for the people. Dr. Ho is a soft-spoken man and um, that's a huge asset and I think it's, one, it's just a gift and when you go into a room with a patient and a family when they have a, you know, some, sometimes a very grave situation. Um, you need to have that calmness and you need to be able to calm everyone in the room. His approach, uh, the way he treats patients, you know, the way he, he really connects with them, it just makes all the difference, you know. I believe that Dr. Ho has, um, has laid that groundwork for future physicians and how they interact with patients on that personal level. Hope in our profession is a big part of the treatment. Hope means something good will happen. And that's what I believed in Dr. Hope, that he put hope in myself that my son will get better. Uh, hope is what gets you through the day, really, you know. Hope, yeah, hope is knowing there's a tomorrow. And this is one of the reasons that I go into medicine and stay in oncology, uh, because uh, you are able to help people who are in the depths of depression, and you're able to give them hope and, and uh, education, and so that's what I try to do.